Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me again, Golden Blue Dude. Hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I do college football videos every single day. Don't forget about my score prediction contest. Every single week I pick out one game and I have my Patreon members guess the score. I'm giving out $20 every single week. All you have to do is go over to my Patreon page, join my Patreon page, and you're eligible. Blue members get one guest prediction per week, gold members get two guest predictions per week, and champion members get four guest predictions per week. Once you've joined my Patreon page, all you have to do is email me your score prediction. Congratulations to this week's winner, Jay Smith. This week's game for the score prediction contest is number 7, Texas A&M, taking on number 16, Arkansas, in Arlington, Texas. Now, the tiebreaker game will be number 12, Notre Dame, taking on number 18, Wisconsin, in Chicago. So make sure to email me your guesses for both of these games. For several months, I have been telling y'all that I have sources that's telling me that West Virginia is going to the ACC. And of course, the blowback. Well, we haven't gotten an announcement going to Blue Dude. The Big 12 has expanded. That tells me that West Virginia is not leaving. Something would have leaked by now. But that's not really how it works. Because remember, when Oklahoma and Texas left the Big 12 to go to the SEC, they had been talking for six plus months. Nobody knew about it until there at the end. These things are done behind closed doors. I just got lucky because I've known my reliable sources for a very long time. So they trust me, that's why I'm not revealing their names. I'm not burning that bridge. I came across something that made me smile really, really big because of this situation we're talking about. Tony Caridi, the biggest, most reliable West Virginia University sports media personality, finally gave me a nugget. He's the guy I've been waiting on. He's not my source, but he's usually the first person to leak something when something's about to happen. So I've been waiting on him to say something. And finally, he gave me a small nugget. He was doing a podcast called Three Guys Before the Game. And they were taking calls on that podcast. There was a caller that called in and asked this. And I quote, Now that the Big 12 is going to add four more teams into the conference, talking about the Big 12, does that mean that West Virginia has no chance of joining the ACC? This was Tony Caridi's response. Keep that in your back pocket. No, it does does not mean that. That was a big sentence right there. No, it does not mean that. But he goes on to say this. Just hang tight. All things happen in good time. Like wine, it needs time before coming along. That's what I've been trying to explain to you guys. It's the timing that I am not sure about this. But I'm telling you, West Virginia and the ACC have been talking. According to my sources, it's pretty much a done deal. So I really don't know how far along they are, but according to my sources, it's pretty much a done deal. So taking that into consideration, here's what I think is going on. So let me be perfectly clear. I am 100% certain that West Virginia is going to the ACC. I trust my sources. They're great sources. And Tony Caridi just backs this up. He's not a source. This is just backing up what I've been saying. Now the rest of this isn't certainty. It's what I think. I think the ACC is trying to negotiate a better TV contract. The ACC is going to get a big bump in revenue. I think the Virginia Tech West Virginia game that I went to was sort of an expedition preview of the draw that West Virginia is going to bring to the ACC. And it brought big numbers, guys. So they're not working out if West Virginia is going to the ACC. That's not the thing that they're working out right now. Right now, they're working out TV contracts. When West Virginia could actually be in the ACC, do they need to wait till 2025? Or will the Big 12 restructure that contract and there won't be a buyout? Or would the ACC be willing to pay that buyout? Which I don't think they would because they don't make that much money. So my personal opinion is West Virginia will be an ACC member in 2025. I know adding BYU UCF, Cincinnati, and Houston was a big deal for the Big 12. And they needed to do that. But West Virginia doesn't fit in the Big 12. And I know adding UCF and Cincinnati stretches the Big 12 footprint more farther east towards West Virginia. That helps. But still, the majority of the Big 12 is in the Midwest. West Virginia needs to be in the ACC. We fit perfectly geography. We have so many rivals in the ACC. That game you saw between West Virginia and Virginia Tech, you're going to see epic games like that all the time once West Virginia is in the ACC. West Virginia is going to make a lot of money for the ACC. They know it. That's one of the reasons why they want West Virginia in the ACC. And the numbers for that Virginia Tech-West Virginia game drew, especially for a noon game, was ridiculous. Especially when compared to what the ACC is used to drawing. So we are still in a wait and see period as far as when West Virginia will go to the ACC. But West Virginia is going to the ACC. My personal guess is West Virginia will be an official ACC member in 2025. I think the same goes for Oklahoma and Texas as far as them going to the SEC because the Big 12 didn't disband like
like they were hoping and that would have voided that contract and no buyout would have been needed. Well, that didn't happen. In fact, the Big 12 added members. And don't get me wrong, the new Big 12 looks great. West Virginia just doesn't fit there. I mean, we've been there for 10 years and it's been proven West Virginia doesn't fit in the Big 12. And the unique thing about this situation is West Virginia actually has a choice. The Big 12 wants West Virginia to stay and the ACC wants West Virginia to join. So I'm going to ask you, not just my West Virginia subscribers, all my subscribers, anybody watching this, who would you rather see West Virginia play on a year in and year out basis? In the Big 12 where you have Cincinnati, UCF, Houston, Oklahoma State, Iowa State, Kansas, Kansas State, BYU, Texas Tech, Baylor, and TCU. Not bad. Or in the ACC, first all of our old Big East rivals hit Virginia Tech, Syracuse, Miami, Boston College, Louisville. Then you add on to that Clemson, North Carolina, NC State, Georgia Tech, who we beat in the Gator Bowl not too long ago. We have history with Florida State, and I think Virginia would become a good rival for West Virginia. And the possibility of playing Notre Dame. Yes, give me the ACC. West Virginia belongs in the ACC. So y'all let me know what y'all think about West Virginia going to the ACC, and tell me when you think West Virginia is going to be an official member of the ACC. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next show.